Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it's the leftover from this card release. So when I cut those strip, I was left with a strip of Knight of Navy and I was like, okay, I wanna use it. So we're gonna do a quick card and this time we're gonna do it more like a sunflower instead of a daisy. So very simple, quick card. I call it Stamp on the Go. You're gonna start with a piece of white cardstock that measure two and three quarter by two and three quarter. I'm gonna use the depth down the light. We're gonna stamp this twice. Well, once, lift it up, go get more ink to make it look like a sunflower. You wanna ink it twice. And stamp again, et voila. Now uh, the little inside's gonna be again in chocolate chip. So it's very a uh, stamp on the go, but I absolutely love this flower. Here we go. If you want to crank it up a notch, you can use Wink of Stella. Let me show you. So um, I had done just every other petal, so you can just use uh, your Wink of Stella. And the Wink of Stella blend the color a bit, so it make it look a little bit uh, stronger. Here we go. So I just um, go and do every other one. Like I said, um, it's um, very simple. Just to add, if you want this to be a little bit more uh, darker too, you can get some of your um, yellow in here. You can add a little bit more. So it depends how much fussing you want to do. So I just grab a little bit of the ink and add that. So you could do every petal then. It would look more like the sunflower or just do like this. On my blog, I'm going to have a picture with all the petal in the yellow like this. And I'm going to have a plain, completely plain one. So this is two and three quarter by two and three quarter. And this is two seven eight by two seven eight. I just wanted a little border four by four to go um three by three to go diagonal was almost too big. And I wanted to have that diagonal. So I'm gonna use a piece of a uh, white cardstock that measure five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to fold this in two. And then I'm going to use one of those strips that I told you I had the leftover. I'm going to sh I should show you what I'm doing here. I'm getting ready to um, go spend some time with the kids. And while they work, well, I get my basket full. It's already cut and ready to go. So that's what I will do while they're at work. I'm going to do some of my thank you cards for my order online. So my basket is ready. And I said before I um, start on that, I wanted to do the videos. Here we go. Now we're going to use the thank you again with the Knight of Navy. And I really like the double take on this. What I call double take. It's stamp once. Lift it up just a little bit offset it and stamp again so really i don't think the camera show it very well but you get like a shadow so it looks like almost it's popped up now i'm gonna just use snail here and put this diagonal see so if i would go bigger than that for diagonal it would be too big et voila and if that is too plain for you, you can do some on scrap paper. Just punch it out and you can pop this here. See, so then you would have a 3D. So I'm going to have different one on my blog. And again, this, I should show it to you how um, friendly this punch is. It's <clears throat> what I mean by friendly. All the petals are the same size. So if I punch it once, it don't matter for your punch. It's going to match perfectly. Let's do the center again. 
here we go so when I take my punch it match perfect see it you don't have to fuss which petal go where because all the petal are all the same size some of the punch the flower are different proportion but this is very friendly and then what I do it's going to get smashed a little bit in the mail but it's still when you're going to open it up it's still want to pop a bit and then I would mount that with um let me think a dimensional so I'm going to have all three different one when you come to my blog I'm going to have all three there so you can look at it and decide which one you like better and here is a plain one without the strip very simple this is part of that stamp set also so this is it all the supplies it's listed at my blog just above you get the eye click on that it's going to bring you to my post have a lovely day my friend bye bye for now